Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get started on today's project, um, I, uh, I just wanted to um, give a couple of shout outs to, to two people that have uh, encouraged me and um, you know always commented on my, my videos. Um, first of all I'd like to mention um, Brahm, Brahm Sharp, um, from Brahm the wood, uh, Wade's Mill Woodturner, um, <coughs> who kindly sent me a couple of his stickers. So thank you, Bram, for that. Um, if you've not seen Bram's channel uh, and seen what he does, then I, I recommend you go across and, and have a look at his, uh, his channel. Um, he does some excellent work and produces some really good videos. Um, so get across there, subscribe to his channel, and, and I'm sure you'll uh, thoroughly enjoy it. And secondly, um, I'd just like to mention Steve at SK Crafts, who's uh, been very supportive and... Uh, inspirational really in terms of me setting up my channel um, and giving me some you know invaluable guidance and and information um, to help me along the way um, obviously my channel is a fairly new channel this is only my fifth video but Steve's always been there to uh, support me so again go across to Steve at F SK Crafts um, have a look at his channel he does some fantastic work uh, go across and subscribe and um, you won't regret it because he's a very talented man. Right, so on to the project today. Um, I've managed to get hold of uh, a couple of offcuts of teak. Um, it's not a, a wood that you come across, I certainly don't come across very often, but I've managed to get a couple of offcuts from a, um, a friend of mine who, who works in a joinery shop. So out of these two pieces of teak, I'm going to make a couple of uh, square bowls. Um, I'm going to um, glue them glue them together first, uh, just to form the bases, and then split them uh, to do the the inside. So I'll um, I'll go across to the bench, get them set up, and uh, go through the process uh, before we get them onto the lathe. Okay, so I've got my two pieces of timber here, which I'm going to. Um, turn the two square bowl in between those two pieces I'm going to put this piece of scrap uh, and the dowel will, will fit through there um, and that will just locate in both pieces um, while they're gluing up and we get uh, get the piece to, to shape. Um, so I'm going to go across to the drill press and get them drilled out and then uh, I'll set them up we'll come back and put them on the nose.
so <clears throat> having started to turn uh, the block round um, I don't want to go any further than that with this at the moment so I've now marked two centre points one either side there so that I can now mount it back in the the lathe and then start to turn the radius on the other side of each piece. Okay, so <clears throat> I've taken in the uh, the block off the um, off the lathe now, and uh, I've split split it down. Take it. That's the centre waste piece, uh, so that won't be needed. Uh, and these are the two blocks now. I just need to remount this onto the lathe to form the the foot at the bottom, and then reverse it to cut out the the dish in the top. So. That's the next stage, so uh, I'll get the lathe set up and um, we'll take it. Okay, so I've taken off the uh, the two blanks and uh, I've turned the underside of this one to make a, a recessor, just a foot really. Um, I'm now going to mount it back onto the lathe just to dish out the inside and to clean up and to finish. Um, and I'll obviously do the same with the with the other one as well. Oh dear, the funnel club. Now although that's not quite, um, it's not that thin at the bottom, obviously with the recess in the bottom, uh, and I think that was probably where I put the, uh, the original dowel in the middle of the, the blank just to locate it. So I'm uh, going to have to think about that and uh, perhaps put something in there just to uh, rescue this little this little part but um, we'll have a look at the next one um, and we'll see see uh, what we can do about that okay so I've, uh, I've had a look at that and um, I've taken some more out and uh, I've actually lost the hole at, which I thought um, I put into the bottom of that but actually it wasn't it was it was just where I put the dowel in 
So um, I've managed to take the bowl down probably a little bit deeper than, than I wanted, but uh, I've salvaged it. Um, and the Funnel Club t-shirt will just have to wait for another day. Okay, so I've now um, finished the bowl um, and I've just put it, um, just put some oil on there, just some teak oil, uh, just to finish, just to finish that off. And uh, I didn't particularly want a, a really bright, shiny finish on there. So uh, the oil is just um, soaking into that and uh, we'll give that quite a nice finish. Um, I'll let that dry off and um, I'll... Uh, Give it another coat or two um, when that's uh, had time to set. Two little teak dishes um, have not come up too badly. Um, I've uh, I've made one or two little mistakes along the way with this uh, this particular project, which obviously I would need to have to uh, you know improve on next time. But overall, um, I'm quite pleased with the way they've turned out. Really, um, as I say, they're not quite identical, but um, it's something new that I've tried and. Uh, yeah, as I say, they've been quite challenging, but um, I think there's one or two things I've learned along the way here. So, uh, but most importantly, uh, I didn't join the Funnel Club. Um, so, uh, if you like what you see today, um, then uh, please subscribe to my channel, give me the thumbs up, and um, please share the video. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.